What is the best low-cost SWR analyzer and why is that one a good one? I'm sure uh, you guys have um, probably all agree. Maybe the Nano VNA is a good uh, good choice. Yep, just make sure you get it from a reliable source like RNL. Uh, any other models? Uh, I, I do. I still have a. I still have MFJ antenna analyzers. They they're fairly good for the basic functions that they do. Uh, Rig yeah. Expert is another one. I've got an MFJ. It's that two twenty three, and it's a. I've been using it a lot lately, and it's I like it really well. It's it's pretty much just a little VNA, but it's kind of idiot proof. So it's, you know, got. It, it shows it all the information I need on a graph, and so I can glance at it quickly and, and roll. Hey, yeah, Steve. Yeah. Does, does that one have uh, UHF capabilities? No, that's a good point. This one only goes um, through 60 megahertz, so that's the oh. disadvantage of that one. So I have the uh, 226 here, and it goes up to 230 megahertz. still doesn't do UHF, but it's pretty good. It does the whole readout just like Steve's talking about. And uh, what's really cool about it is the ability to either save them and then you could load them up to your computer, the graph, or uh, you could actually plug in the USB and go directly to the computer. So that's kind of nice. Uh, but I do wish it did UHF. Yeah. Yeah, I still have the old school. Uh, it was the MFJ 259, I think it is. Yeah. And I mean, I got actually bought a refurbished one, so I only paid 250 I think, for it. And it works great, Yeah, that thing right there. Wow. It works just yeah. fine. I mean, especially for what I'm doing, I'm just, you know, making some dipoles and a few other things. I don't really do VHF much, and so it's good for me. Yeah, I, I think it's, it, for the price, for the, the cheapest thing that, that will serve you well, it's it's really hard to beat uh, a Nano VNA. Just avoid the, the, uh, the cheapest ones on Amazon, the Gecko model. Um, the Smokin' Ape has a great video that talks about how to pick a nano vna and which one you should get i think currently the the highest end ones with the four inch screen are like 150 bucks and they go down from there so um but incredibly useful and functional units for uh, for a ham for a, a really good price